Hi all, welcome to the vlog of middleware inventory. I'm Sarah Vake. Today we are going to see how to develop and test the SOAP web servers with WebLogic 12C application server. First things first, I have a running WebLogic 12C server. Um, let me open it up for you. Yes, so I have a running WebLogic 12C application server. I named it as MWI domain and uh, to be more precise, I used 12.2.1 version. Uh, let's go ahead and see the development part of the application. Let's go to the NetBeans and uh, let me quickly close all these tabs so that we would be able to reopen all these files and I would be able to present it present each file well so though there are so many front-end components like uh, hello.html index.html and welcome.jsp is here uh, I would like to start this with uh, the deployment descriptor let's open the deployment descriptor so here is our deployment descriptor as you could see I have registered a servlet named a gateway and a URL pattern gateway dot do this is the URL that the servlet is going to be listening on if you also notice my welcome file which is my index page of the application is also this gateway servlet so let's go ahead and open this servlet gateway.java as you could see just like any other servlet so this also uses the process request and uh, it just gets the user HTTP request and response and um, but one thing is different here that we are not actually printing any um, HTML code directly in the servlet rather than that what we are doing here is we are using a request dispatcher and we are loading a file named welcome.jsp so this is going to be act as our front end so let's go and open the welcome.jsp so this is our welcome.jsp if you could see uh, it is a typical JSP file with some CSS code and uh, it has a table uh, you know uh, it has two tables and it just try to print some information if you uh, notice you would be able to see that is this this is kind of a snoop servlet it actually prints the request URL the request method and um, the request headers received HTTP cookies received in the request everything so it is just a home page that we made it up uh, if anyone wants to use or anyone is looking for a snoop servlet so you can use this code and uh, let's go ahead and look at our web service code which is ws.java uh, so let's click here so that we would get the code yes we have a code now uh, as you could see here this is a normal java file and it implements a java x.jws package and it uses the annotation web service and web method of java x.jws to create a web service and web methods for us so we are creating a web service here and we are naming it as ws and we are creating a two methods one method is called hello another method is called get rhyming word so let me explain what both methods do so the first method that you could see here which is highlighted uh, i named it as hello and which exactly does the same so uh, when you are invoking this method the user should pass the name to this method and it will reply hello and it will replace this whatever the name that they have passed let's say that I let's suppose that I am invoking this hello method with my name AK Sarah so it would say hello AK Sarah welcome to middleware inventory so this is pretty much simple method and uh, let's go to the second our second method which is uh, really interesting uh, I mean in my terms so if you go and see I named it as get rhyming word as you could already suggest I mean as you could have already get so this does exactly the same thing so 
it is going to get receive a word uh, any word in english and it would take that word and it will find the rhyming word for example if you are uh, passing dog it will say log like that and not just a log it would come up with a list of uh, you know this words which sound similar to dog like we call it as a rhyming words right so it is exactly designed to get the rhyming word list okay so how we do is that we are using an implementation class which is a http caller you would be you could be able to see that it you know invoking a constructor http caller and passing the word so let's go ahead and see what is this http caller is actually doing as you could notice here i am using an external rest api url api.datamuse.com i would like to thank them in this moment for making this open source so uh, what it does is let's see it practically i will go here let me paste it so if i say dog if i just pass the query string dog it will come up with the word the rhyming word like frog as i said bog demagog cog monologue everything so there are so many words that it comes up with so it is actually returned as a, a kind of a json array so this is what the external rest api of api.datamuse.com is doing okay so let's go right back to our netbeans uh, yes it's here so this http caller is just a connector it just get the uh, it's being invoked by this get rhyming word method and uh, we are passing the value of uh, you know passing the word to the http caller and it in turns keep the word here as a query string just like we showed in the browser now uh, like this it just replace the word here whatever the word that we are sending and we are getting this result and we are passing this result back to ws so whenever the user uh, you know invoking this method they would pass the word let's say dog or whatever the word that they are passing they will get the list of rhyming words so that's what the get rhyming word method is all about so let's go ahead and deploy this application i already have as i told i already have a weblogic 12c and i have uh, integrated it here in netbeans so i don't have to go ahead and start and you know do the deployments and everything so i just did the mapping i hope you are already aware or you could go ahead and google so uh, uh you see here i have named it as a remote wls i have uh, I, it's already in running state as you could see it is in green so let's go ahead and click this uh, and clean and build so if we are cleaning in okay it's okay i think it is completed okay yeah that's pretty fast let's go ahead and start the service let's say run yes it's building building test web services run it's deploying and we would be ready in any moment so what we are going to do after this once the application is deployed is we are going to do a initial level of validation like uh, we don't we not necessarily have to have uh, i mean you could see that uh, it automatically opened so we are doing going to do a basic validation like by invoking this uh, uh, snoop servlet and the web servers in the web browser as you could see yeah we just received the uh, the home page gateway.do and uh, it exactly does the same thing i said which prints the http request url and the get method and uh, what are the headers received and the cookies received if anyone out there is looking for you know a snoop servlet which could get you know print this information you are always welcome to take this code and use it so let's go ahead and, and invoke the web service and yes 
as you could see that the web services index page is coming and it says the address and the visitor which means our web service is working fine so let's go ahead and click this visual file and see what are the uh, methods that you know we are supporting the one one method we have is get rhyming word another method that we are supporting is hello so we have get rhyming word and hello methods let's go ahead and test these services using soap ui obviously it is a uh, soap web services not a rest web service so we are we definitely need a tool like soap ui or postman to invoke and test this so let's go ahead and create a new project new soap project and i am going to name it as sample or i would say rhyming web service yeah it sounds good so rhyming web service and i need an initial visual file so let's copy this visual which we already have and paste it and as you could see create request create sample request for all operations i have checked it so that it would create an operations and along with an xml so it is a quick way to get things done so i'm just gonna say okay it is pretty fast we just got um, the methods ready here so we have two methods our methods are showing right here and let's go ahead and test our methods or the web methods one by one let's invoke the hello method first as you could see here here the question mark should be replaced by the name as i said if i say ak sara it's supposed to say hi ak sara welcome to middle inventory okay so let me say ak sara click okay onam is tomorrow happy onam uh yes so uh, let's go back as you could see i just sent a payload with the name ak sara and it just responded we just got a reply stating that hello ak sara welcome to middle inventory let's test it with some other name i really like iron man let's say iron man hello iron man welcome to middle inventory i'm jarvis okay yeah that's not funny so uh, let's go ahead and invoke our second web service which is get rhyming word i'm excited let's see what this has to offer to us i would like to pass so as 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 i said earlier i have to replace this question mark with an actual word what we can give i would give give as a word let's see what we are getting uh yes we got live we got forgive and uh, we got shield and uh, we got so many numerous competitive uh live relive i don't know most of the words of listed here okay so here we have come to a place where we have created the web service and we have successfully tested it i would like to go and recall once again so what we exactly did is we have created a uh, test web services with two major components one is a snoop servlet which is here as i said and it renders a welcome.jsp and the welcome.jsp is actually designed to show the table format and it, it is a kind of snoop servlet it will uh give the request related information what is a url what is a method what is a headers being passed and what is the cookies is are coming in the incoming request and everything and then we have our web service and we have two methods one is a hello and get rhyming word and hello is just to say a hello to whichever the name that we are passing in the uh, soap payload and uh, the get rhyming word is there and uh, it invokes an another class which is a http caller which calls an another external api external rest api at api data muse and it will get the use get the word the method will get the word from the soap payload and it will pass to http caller and it will be attached to the you see this we do a concat here so we are just passing that word as a query string 
to the API data muse and we are just getting that response and we are passing it back to the web service and we are eventually sending the data as a return payload to the user that's what we just did here you see this we just gave a word called a, a word a give and we got a rhyming words like so many like you know rhyming words so thereby we have come to a conclusion we have successfully developed and tested uh, tested the soap web service with web logic uh, you I would also recommend you to go ahead and read the post that we have made about this same simple soap web service in this post we have covered everything in detail it's always easy to cover things in detail right so <laughs> uh in theoretically so i just put everything in theoretical if you can go ahead and read it would be good you would be able to uh, understand everything so let's say i mean i have discussed a various topic here what is the web services where web services are used what are the types of web services the sample soap web service application netbeans project setup code explanation you could see here and we also placed so many codes code explanation and self explanatory images like this and uh, we have also placed you know the outputs of whatever we have tested so that's it thank you have a great day